First thing I'm gonna do is get the backboard up, so I'm gonna have to find my studs. I was hoping that I would have something to give me an idea of where the studs are up here. Not feeling any nails or anything. I like to use these little magnetic stud finders. They're really good at finding metal studs, and they also work when you have wood studs that have, you know, drywall screws in them because they're metal. It also has a level on it so that, you know, if you mark the top and the bottom, you're getting the right line on the stud. When the magnetic stud finder hits on one particular spot, you don't want to trust that that's your stud. You want to go up and down above and beyond that spot and make sure that you get other catch points. And then of course you need to go left and right and hunt for your next studs which should be like 16 or 24 inches apart. I'm putting one screw in the board so that I can temporarily tack it to the wall. Once I've got the board on the wall then I'm going to put a second screw in over here on the side and I'm going to use a level to make sure that the board is perfectly level before I start marking my holes and drilling for the studs and the lags. So we've got our last stud here, we've got a stud here and a stud here. You never know how much weight this board is going to hold. I mean, you're going to have a network rack, you're going to have switches and routers and battery backups. So I like to be as safe as possible. I don't want this thing going anywhere. Now I have seven lags. That board ought to be good. 